Hey YouTubers, Redneck Brian here. As you can see, and also from the title of this video, time for paint. I painted the uh, front fenders, uh, yeah, front fenders, and the rear fenders for the tractor for the Craftsman, and turned out not too bad. A little bit of runs, but I'm gonna have to sand them a bit and put another coat on. The orange is not covering very well. Uh, wait till I show you the black parts that I've done already. And yeah, it's not covering well at all. Um, also, I have a little bit, not really a change of plans. I have a little bit of new plans for the front end of this. I'm going to make a second video immediately following this one. And I'll show you what I'm going to do. Um, it involves that piece right there. So I'll tell you it's going to go black. I'll tell you what I'm going to use it for in, in the next video. So these are done. Um, they need obviously need a second coat, probably a little bit of sanding or really really light wire on the wire wheel on them. So I want to rip the paint off, probably find some sandpaper or something, lightly sand them. That is the piece from the shifter cover. Cover the shifter. It's obviously going black. A little bit of black accent on the on the fender. Show you what else I've done. I had a little bit of an accent with my wire wheel, which sucks. I like this shirt. Ripped, ripped a hole in it. I've still yet to paint the top half of the hood. It's going to go next. But um, for those parts over there, for these parts up here, um, it took one and a bit cans to sp just spray those. So the first coat is going to take quite a bit. Most likely the second coat is not going to take nearly as much. So, but actually it's almost worth it to buy. Almost it's worth it to buy the. Uh, paint the kit that the uh, for to paint it generally on eBay it's a hundred bucks but for shipping it's, it's quite a bit to ship it so for the shipping doesn't necessarily make it worth it so and these cans are ten bucks a piece so I'm probably gonna be able to bring back one of the blacks like I said the black is covering really well here is the nose this is the headlight from the headlights it's dry already uh, I'm going to peel the tape off and then spray it once again as you can see it got around the corners probably will need a second coat clean it up a bit sand up a little wee bit but it turned out pretty good still debating on the gas tank so here here's the tractor so and the solenoid is completely gone in it now um, to start it you gotta use a screwdriver but i'm not going to do what um uh Peter Cat Keefe, I can't think of I can't think of his user's name did and catch the tractor on fire, so I'm not gonna do that. So so yeah. There's the hood again. And here's the grill. I have it sitting out here on the grass to dry. You can see it's black now. It was like a uh, like a grayish color, so I even did the headlight bezels. Figured I might as well do them. And then it's all blacked out as best as I can get it. And uh, give it a little bit, hopefully, it gives a good look. I've yet to do the back side. I want the front dry a bit and then flip it over and do the back. I don't have to do the back, but I want to do the back anyways. I want to try to hide as much of the existing tractor as I can with paint. So I'm figuring for this, it's probably going to take about three cans to do the to do the first coat about three probably about three cans maybe about two maybe three cans to do the finished coat I'm um, hopefully you can get everything done with two coats on everything I'm hoping so so yeah here it is for now it's it's going along um when do I was going to do the rims today but I don't think I I don't think I'm going to get to the rims today it's getting windier out now I'm just going to finish up what I'm working on and call it for the day I think and as you can see, I got the muffler on here temporarily, just to be able to drive it. It's, it's pretty loud. It's running though. It's running decent, um, but it's, it's hard to start because uh, no back pressure, no no muffler on there. So really hard. It's hard to start, but sometimes. So that's pretty much it for the paint. And I'll talk to you guys in a few minutes when I do the next video. I got all the decals off the hood, all the stock decals. I used the wire wheel. That's how I ripped my shirt, so 
and yeah that's pretty much it I'm missing two bolts I don't know how I lost them the two bolts for the um, to attach the hood to the dash but all I'll do is I'll just get two new bolts real nice ones or something figure out something for that so I'll talk to you guys all later keep it redneck and uh, please subscribe and comment